Sizzle and Spice is brought to you by Lotus, Anko, TheBestToys.com, Lions Brand, and Fine Choice Meats. And beautiful people, welcome back to another episode of Sizzle and Spice. It's your girl Janine, and today I'm pretty excited because we are going to be making shrimp. Now, I know it might be jerk shrimp, but we're going to be making shrimp, which makes me very, very happy. So I'd like to introduce my chef today. I have with me Chef Heyman. Hi, y'all. So pretty excited. We're going to be making some jerk shrimp uh, with a naan taco. Ooh. So we're going to be mixing up a little bit of vibes there, a little bit of Jamaican and Caribbean vibes, and mm -hmm. bringing in the naan, which is, of course, a traditional Indian bread. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be mixing things up a little bit. All right, so Chef, before we jump into everything, tell us what we will be using today as our ingredients. Oh, we're going to be using a couple of different ingredients today because the marinade for the jerk shrimp has quite a bit of ingredients. So things like uh, scythe, pimentos, scotch bonnet peppers, um, all spice, a lot of spice. So all spice, five spice, uh, as well as nutmeg. Right. So all of things are going to be blended together, mm -hmm. very smooth and create a marinade, right. which are going to marinate our shrimps. Now I see mangoes, I get excited when I see fresh fruit, I yes. love mangoes. What so it's going to be topped with uh, mango chow. Oh, yes. a mango chow. So it's going to bring some sweetness and moisture into the dish. A mango chow and the jerk shrimp? Yeah, okay. it's going to be topping the shrimp. Okay, okay, and we're going to be making the naan with the beautiful lotus all purpose of flour. That of course. is up, I like that. All right, so let's jump in. What can I assist you with? All first? right, so we're going to be starting with the dough for the naan and let that rest and put aside by the time. Sure. So get some of the all purpose the flour. Dough. And uh, our lotus all purpose. How many cups do we need? One cup. One cup of flour alone. Mm, so you want to take that out for me? Sure, I got you. All right, I'm gonna be taking out the uh, yeast by the time, and we're gonna yeah. flour. Yeah, and right. I'm gonna be adding some yeast into there. So we're also gonna be making some buttermilk. So I have just regular whole milk here, mm -hmm. and we're just gonna be adding a little bit of vinegar to it. So the vinegar actually starts to curdle the milk, and that acidity. Actually, it's going to make the gluten in the flour be a little bit more tender. So it's going to actually break down the gluten in the flour later on. So we're going to have a more tender product in a shorter space of time. Mm -hmm. So I guess I could start to mix this up right now. Yes, yeah? do that. Oh, what else should I do? Should I cut something for you? So actually, we could start on the jerk marinade by the time. Jerk so, marinade. I don't know if you want to work on that side or work on this side. I could work on this side with you. All right, so you could work on this side. Yes. And all of these are going to get the blender because all of it is going to be going into the blender. So oh, if you want to dump it into the blender one time. Okay, yes, we'll I have that. my ninja man here. So I'm going to use him because he's very, very useful. So you say to put everything in it. Right, so you're going to take, well, before you grab, just no, no shadow any. No shadow any is for the chow actually. So you're going to grab all the uh, chives of course yeah all of them yes Ooh. so you can kind of cut them they have a small bit of knife or, oh, or you can okay. by all means i didn't know well i'm not in the kitchen or might as just break it you know? yeah chopping is not for everything you know no, it really chop isn't. call it chopper without chop it up you know? right so break up this what else mm -hmm. we need in here so we're gonna de-seed a hot pepper because i heard you're oh, not into Mr. okay so Lava, i'm gonna Lava. have to do a all right. Mm, uh, Mr. Lover, Lover, so I'm not touch that. So I just need a little bit of vegetable oil here. So if you can in help here? me. No, in here. Oh. I need a little bit of vegetable oh, oil. Okay, here. okay. So I want you could to just... know we're going, going all over with this. All right. So we have our yummy lotus soya bean oil. Let me get this to you. How much oil should I put in it? For I just you? need a little drizzle in my a hand. Little drizzle. Here. Give me give me some more. Come, more? Go. Okay. And stop. There Thank we go. Thank you. So chef, what's your specialty? What's your specialty dish? Uh, I think, should be told, I think all chefs honestly hate getting that question. True. Because we like to make a couple different things. So one of my favorite types of cuisine is authentic Indian food. Oh, yeah. Um, but I don't have a dish that I like to specially make. So I have right. um, the scythe. So I have the scythe. Now you need to de-seed 
you know what? I should probably get out of this flower so that I after, can de after that for you. After that, what else we put in So you're going to add in the cloves of gen uh, garlic there. Uh -huh. You're going to add in the ginger as well. Right. Mm -hmm. Dump that in. Dump in all the ginger. Right. You're going to add in about four pimentos, four whole pimentos. Okay. I could just put them in. They're yeah, washed whole. already. Yeah, they're washed already. Boom, bang, bang. All right, and then we're going to start to, is that all? Yes. We're going to just add just some vegetable oil. Oh, so vegetable. we're going to do about a half cup of vegetable oil in there. All right. Yeah. Uh, stop. Okay, good. Because I was wondering, you know, I... <laughs> all right, all right that'll be enough. If I need any more to pull it together, we'll always add. Let me just wash up my hands here a little bit. So, okay, I love this. This is so nice. All right, what should I do with the dough? Right, so you it could actually so just nice. place a plastic wrap over it and set it aside. So that's going to rest while we handle the rest of the ingredients. Okay. Place this aside. Yeah, so you can set that aside. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we can actually blend this up. Okay, I, I can do that for yeah? you. Yeah. Now, All what right, are great. three tools that you cannot live without in the kitchen? You have and to have Obviously, you need to have your knife. Right. Um, tongs. Um, and a third tool, uh, your chopping board, I guess, is essential as well. Chef, why, why are you looking so white? Yeah, that's that's exactly what we're looking for. Not green. So, no, no, it's gonna come. It's actually gonna get dark. So let's just add a little bit more oil. Let's just add a little bit more oil to get this going together here. And I can add any mixture of the spices I was telling you all about earlier, which is nutmeg, five spice, uh, old spice, and some black pepper as well. Mm. Okay, chef, so we are blending this time, so adding all that extra oil and all the spices. Yes. So, so let this blend for a little while. Yeah, so that's gonna blend and form a paste, and then we're actually going to prep the shrimp. Shrimp, and that's my favorite, right. favorite thing from the sea. I love shrimp. And yes. red snapper and mussels and squid. Oh, great. So you like seafood. Crab. All right. So we're going to devein the shrimp. Okay. And we are going to make some incisions along the underside, the underbelly of the shrimp. So that's going to actually keep the shrimp from curling. So it's going to lie nice and flat on top. Nice. Yeah. All right, guys. So you know what? We're going to do that. And we'll take a quick break. And we will be right back right here on Sizzle and Spice. The best for your baby is at thebesttoys.com. From the best strollers, car seats, baby carriers, high chairs, booster seats, rockers, jumpers and bouncers, walkers, baby blankets, feeding accessories, bathtubs. Visit us in store at First Floor Movie Town Port of Spain, Forces Flagship Mass Bean, Eastgate Small Trin City, M6 Plaza Endeavor, or shop online now at thebesttoys.com. We have the best toys at the best prices. And my friends, we are back at Sizzle and Spice, and I'm excited. Look at the size of this shrimp. Now, I'm thinking this is prawn. This could never be shrimp. No, it is shrimp. So those are actually 13, 15 size shrimp. Wow. Yeah. So it's how much shrimp is it going to be? $100 for so one of those shrimp. That's no. it's looking big and expensive. Yeah, so we're actually going to be grilling it in the shell. Right. Uh, oh. So that's going to be holding a lot of moisture and flavor okay. into it first, and then oh. we're going to be taking it out of the shell after. Right. Now, you were telling me off air that you were going to show me how to debate how to the shrimp without so usually cutting down without the back cutting of the back. shrimp. Right. So basically, you could use a skewer or a toothpick will work, and you're going to just look for one of the openings on the shell there, Yeah. and you're going to pull through. Right. And sometimes you're going to pull out the entire intestinal tract, like there. Uh, and the entire thing comes out. Ew. Yeah. So just going to just add that in the sink across right. here. Ew. Okay, right. well, thank you so much for teaching me something new. Yes, yeah, so we don't actually also need gonna to. Be doing... And we're going to make some small incisions along the underside of the shrimp. Mm -hmm. And that's going to stop it from, like I said, cooling. Because, you know, shrimp cools like Yes. It. We're making tacos. So we want it to kind of lie a little bit flat. Right. So for that to happen, we're just going to make some very incisions, a couple incisions here. Uh-huh. And you could see the shrimp will start to actually almost relax itself. Right. So... Chef, so... You're making the tacos 
Put it shall go. No, but go, gonna just be grilling it. Put the shell, and I'm just gonna remove, remove it. The shell after. So that's gonna protect it and keep it really nice and moist and succulent in the shell and impart a lot of flavor. Because mm -hmm. when you're making a uh, seafood stock, you actually use the shell and the head from the shrimp, and you boil that down. That is a big flavoring agent for stock. Seafood stock, yeah. You are so knowledgeable. Now, let me tell you something. I never know it had seafood stock. I know it does eat fish broth down here. Yeah. So I didn't know seafood stock. That's yes. something more fancy yes. than anything else. Tell me, what do you do outside of, of course, the show? What do you do? What is your profession? So I am a head chef in a prominent restaurant in the West. Um, I also do small catering to like very small numbers, like uh, date nights. Oh, or family nice. dinner, something small like that. So like I'll a personal quick. chef then? Yes, oh, yes. Wonderful. So I've done a couple events and stuff like that. Tell so me about your most memorable event that you would have catered to, even if it uh, was a small number of persons. I think it was a couple uh, in Central. Right. And it was a husband and wife and he basically wanted to surprise his wife after they were married, I think, a couple of years, probably okay. 10 years. Right. And he just wanted to have a date night and have something special. Aww. So I did a uh, so dessert for them, some creme brulee, and very basic and some pizzas. Mm. So it was very, very basic and she was just impressed by it. So. Oh, that is very sweet. Yeah. All right, Chef, so what's next for me? What can I help you? All right, so the marinade, the jerk marinade oh, yes, that we made, that. we're going to be actually so placing my, that here. Yeah. so proud of my blending skills. So let me just get these... This have pepper in it. Yes, there's some spice in there. Oh, you know yeah, it doesn't so smell, smell that spicy. No. Can I taste it? Can I taste it? You can. You actually can taste it. True. Yeah. Okay. You give it a small taste. Because I'm feeling, I'm feeling wild. I want to taste it. Yeah. Just don't go second. Yeah, a very very small amount. So let me just wash this up by the time. There's a red pepper in it. There's a red pepper in it. You're getting a lot it's of these pepper boy. It tastes good, eh? What's that? Creamy and spicy, boy. Woo! Yeah. All right, that good, boy. Woo! It's going to brighten up your life. All right, That's so... why people like pepper. Woo! So we're going to use that, yeah, to marinate the shrimp. Mm. So we're going to just put some and I'm going to use all of them. Best you touch that, yeah. yeah. Let's deal with the pepper. And we're going to use some of this later in the sauce okay. as well. So just going to reserve a little bit on the side there. Mm -hmm. So my, my, my good chef... So do you want to mix this up for me by the time so I can get started on the sauce? Or actually, sure. I could do this for you and I could get, get you started on the sauce. Look at that, I did it already. All right, so we're going to be making the jerk sauce to go with the tacos. I did it, right? Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So you're also going to want to kind of get the jerk sauce into the shell as well. So you're going to really want to get in with your hands. You go ahead. So, you go ahead yeah. and get in with your hands. Right. You do that. You do that. So while I am doing this, you want to uh -huh. get the jerk sauce going for me? All right. Another jerk sauce. Let's do yeah, it. That's, that's going to be what we're gonna be, uh, going to be placing on the pot. Yeah, all, all in right. pot. So you can just open it up there. And you're going to be putting on all of these ingredients here. Yeah, so we have some ketchup and barbecue sauce going in. We have some... Chef, <laughs> you know what I want to ask you? Because I watch, um, of course, just, I don't remember her name, an influencer, but she just makes everything from scratch. She just mm. had a baby, blah, blah, blah. And she pours all the ingredients and everything real fancy into her bowl. Like if you had the opportunity to cook for anyone in this world, from a prime minister to an artist, oh, wow. Who would you cook for and what would you make? Um, hmm. That is a difficult question. Who would I cook for? Um, honestly, I, I don't think I have anybody like a, a celebrity I'd cook for. I really like cooking for my family. I like cooking for my loved ones. My grandmother is a big influential person in my life and probably my only role model. I always tell people that. So definitely, um, and she's getting sickly and that time so i would love if i could continue to cook for as long as i can okay. so we're going to be adding in some tambourine that's what this is yes so that's the tambourine and we're going to be adding it yeah you could just scrape that in and we're going to be adding in some apple cider vinegar as well why the apple cider vinegar so you just want to get a little bit more acid going uh for the sauce 
because like I said, it's seafood, so you want a little bit of acid coming through in that jerk. Right. Um, I'm also going to be doing it with the pineapple chow, so that acid with sweet is really going to play with that sweet and yeah, sour the flavor. Mango chow. The mango chow, sorry. Yeah. Well, I want to know. So, Chef, um, you have to do the honors of turning Lighting on the stove. stove. Okay, yes, where is do. your... Is this auto right? No? I Lighter? There, ah, oh, there we go. Wow, what a flame. All right, so you could just keep down low and you could just mix that up. Mix it up for you. Mm -hmm. All right, so just gonna be adding about two tablespoons worth of our jerk paste that we made earlier. Right. And get that going just until it's heated up. All right, so I'm going to be rolling out the naan by time. You, wanna, you can roll it over here if you want. Yeah. All right, so let's roll that over here. Can I roll a naan with you, please? Of course. You have to flour up your pen. Definitely. You don't know. Definitely. So you didn't know I know yeah, that. See, so you, know, you know we're, we're <laughs> in the kitchen, that's for sure. Yeah, they didn't give me a show for nothing, man. I know how to cook. All uh, right, so you want to roll it out there? Roll this out. So you're going to go and for it could be about... Uh, no, no, no. We're, we're doing tacos, so we really need to be as circular as possible. Right. Um, we're going to go a little bit bigger than a palm. A bit bigger than my palm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the dough is very tender. Wow, you have such soft dough making capabilities. I try. You're real good at dough, boy. Alright, cool. All right. Is this good enough? That Thin looks enough? perfect, actually. Just gonna dust off some of the flour. That looks perfect. Yeah. Alright, guys, so while I dust off my flour here, we're gonna take a quick commercial break and we will be right back with some more sizzle and spice. Sizzle and spice, let's cook it right. Let's cook it right. Are you looking for a customizable studio space with green and white screen cyclorama and professional production equipment to carry out your next big project? SGP Studios is the perfect fit for you. TNT's largest studio space with an overhead lighting grid and sound treated perfect for television commercials, music videos, television programs, social media content and film productions. We also have a wide range of production equipment available for rental. You can choose from a selection of Netflix approved cameras, modern lighting equipment, professional audio gear, 40 foot and 20 foot cranes, gimbals, drones, lenses, action cameras and more, all at competitive prices. Whether you need a high-end cinema camera for feature film shoots, specialized lighting equipment for a music video or audio gear for a podcast, we've got you covered. And with our easy online booking system, you can reserve the gear you need in just a few clicks. Check us out online at sgpstudios.com. And we are back, beautiful people, and it here smells heavenly. Let me tell you something. I was just coughing because this jerk shrimp is, <laughs> yeah, yeah, doing it's, its job. Yeah, it's doing it's its, its job, job, so to speak. So um, while we were on break, of course, we grilled up some of the shrimp. We got some naan going. We just have yes, these should be about finished. Yeah, they're nearly finished, and these right, are gonna yeah. be going just now. Um, now, Chef, tell me what's your proudest moment as a chef? You've got this far, what's your proudest moment? My moments? proudest moment has to be training uh, young cooks coming up. Um, that definitely is my proudest moment to see an individual who would come in with and just level them up. Right. Um, that is my proudest moment. Um, and hope to really do a lot more of that in the future. Yeah, so we could actually turn this shrimp by the time okay. on the girl there. Yeah. So while we were on break there, I actually placed together a mango chow. Yeah, so I did a mango chow. So we just did some mangoes, finely diced with some pimentos and garlic, as well as a little bit of red onions inside. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> That's exactly what we're looking for. Oh, right that there. is spicy. Yeah. Like I'm smelling it all now. Like, wow. All right. I also prepped some lettuce and tomatoes that we're going to be building the tacos with. Right. So I'll just wait for that to finish off. Oh, actually, we could start to yeah, assemble. That's what I was coming for. I was coming to get um, the wonderful yeah. naan. So I'm going to place some down by the time. Sure. And you could place a little bit of lettuce on the bed. So while you're assembling, I'll just finish off these shrimp. So what, just leave it on the plate like this? Yeah. So you okay. could put some lettuce. Okay. A little bit in, let me do one for you. Okay. And you'll try. 
right, right, nice. Lettuce. So just gonna put a little bit of lettuce and, and just a little bit of tomato. And then the mango chower. No, the mango chower is actually is gonna top it. Oh. And then we're gonna put a little bit of the sauce that we made earlier. Oh my. All right, so you can replicate yeah. that across there. I like finish off these shrimp. Okay. Right. So, how come we didn't just take off the shell before? So, like I was mentioning earlier, the shells are going to uh, keep the juices, keep the shrimp very juicy, lock mm -hmm. those juices in while they cook. I remember I was saying that the stock, you actually make seafood stock using the shells. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of the flavor is actually in the shell of the shrimp. Okay. So, just going to get some of these off. Just need about four. We're gonna be plating up to each. Okay. All right, we're nearly there. So you have how many? I have two there already. So big, lovely. Oh, I left a foot on. Hold on, I left the shrimp foot. Hold on, right. Ready to plate those? Yeah. Yes. Let's get into the plating. All right. All right, so you already started it here, ready for us. So we're just gonna finish it up. So we're just gonna place the shrimp. So delicious. Oh, yum. And then he said the mango goes on the side. Right, so no, the mango uh, chow is actually gonna top the. Let me just grab a spoon there for me. All right, so just gonna top it. Right. And some of our mango chow. So we're getting ready to jump in. OMG, so y'all know I am ready to eat, 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 mm, mm, mm. but first, chef, I want to raise a glass to you. This is yours. I want to raise a glass to thank you. you. Congratulations so much. on your journey thus far, and we're really wishing you the best. And of course, thank you for coming on Sizzle and Spice. Of course, the pleasure was all mine, it really was. Yeah, thanks for spicing up the kitchen. I just <laughs> Quite today. Literally. Exactly. Quite so, literally. cheers and all the best. Thank you. Mm hmm. I like it. This red, red in boy. Yeah. All right, so we're ready All to right. jump in, right? So, yeah, we <sighs> can. Right, so this is our shrimp, no, jerk, jerk shrimp, non tacos. Non tacos. Jerk shrimp, non tacos. I know of us because it's spicy. Okay, here goes. Everybody, one, two, three. This is real good. Spicy boy, oh, real good. What kind of flavor food? Yeah, no matter touch, no matter touch, you're bad. Get up, get up, get up, it tastes good. I'll take one more bite, one more bite, one more bite. It tastes good, it tastes good. Hot, huh? It tastes good. I like the shrimp, hold on. And the mango. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, one more. Hold on. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Chef, your bird. Your bird. It should be selling this. Is that in this? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Look out for this. Soon too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Top tier, man. Five stars. Thank you so Congratulations, much. Congratulations, so Chef. Much. Congratulations. I'm, look, I'm looking forward to having you back on Sizzle and Spice. Next All time, right. no spice. <laughs> right? All right? But guys, this is how we do it. Very spicy today. Very, very spicy in the Sizzle and Spice episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Of course, we'll be back soon, right? See ya. I'm going to jump in this. Right now, I just want to eat all the mango. All right, eat all the mango. Thanks.
Sizzle and Spice is brought to you by Lotus, Anko, TheBestChoice.com, Lions Brand, and Fine Choice Meats.